part of the puzzle, part of the mystery, is that this tragedy happened in a very holy place while people were doing a holy thing. How does that happen? Doesn't seem right, does it? Somebody wrote a letter to the Rebbe saying that they were completing a Torah scroll, which is a big celebration, a big party. It's a holy event. And a young woman who was there suffered an aneurysm and died at the party. And people were asking, how, how does such a thing happen? The Rebbe's answer was, human beings by nature should not be able to understand the Creator. And when we don't understand the Creator, that's perfectly understandable. A child would not understand a great scientist, even though they're both human. And the difference between them is just a few years and a few classes. So how much more so a human being trying to understand God? It's, 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 it's absurd. And yet God wants us to know Him. So He makes Himself knowable in the Torah, through the Torah. And so we're supposed to try to understand as much as we can of God's thinking and God's ways. When we try, we discover every soul that comes into this world is given a certain amount of years to live. Forty days before conception, the angel announces how long this person is going to live. It can be after 120 years. It can be after 30 years. After 30 days, people are born for a certain amount of time. When the time comes, the circumstances can be varied, some better, some not so good. But nobody dies before their time. The last minutes of life, every detail is significant. So the Rebbe says the circumstance in which this girl passed away were were not ordinary. It was at the completion of a Torah. She was surrounded by people who care. She, there was a mezuzah on the door. And then the Rebbe says, according to the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov, why did you decide to write a Torah in the first place? Because this, this girl was destined to pass away at that celebration. She deserved to die in the performance of a mitzvah. Why, why is that so significant? Because the first thing they ask you when you come to heaven, where are you coming from? Where did they catch you in the middle of? It can be embarrassing. See, that's why it's so upsetting that we, we know something wonderful is happening, something mystical, and, and we can't see it. But if you want to be mystical about it, these 45 souls that died celebrating Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai's yard site, who greeted them in heaven? Obviously Rabbi Shimon. You know, if you have to go, that's the way to go. So let's, see, let's look at it for what it is and not get the impression that they died because they went to celebrate a holy event. And why those 45? There were 100,000 people there. Why then? They had a special connection to Rabbi Shimon, and therefore it was decreed when they were born that they would pass away on Lag Omar at the place where Rabbi Shimon is buried, celebrating his Yatzai. Nothing less. The death is still tragic, but the circumstances are awesomely holy. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal, it's questions and answers, it's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program, there's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. 
all of it just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.